Hello guys, Crimson Thunder here, and I'm just going to do a, a quick playthrough of a quick, quick mission of Mech Warrior 5. I know it has been a very long time since I had last posted a video about Me Mech Warrior 5, and I knew that I was planning on doing so. And I'm going to explain a little bit of what was going on and why I have not been doing a lot of progress since well or oh well into months ago part of the reason uh, behind that is that it was a lot to do with my upgrades that I had to my computer that didn't exactly do uh, was the best for recording and now that I have that all figured uh, all fixed back in the time I have decided that I was um, I actually have decided that I was going to hold, uh, hold off on that just because of the, the fact that there was a lot of updates that were also needed to be going on because there were certain glitches and there are also some programming errors that that needed to be addressed before I could really be willing to go into it again. Now that I have decided to go into what a lot of people have decided that, decided to be must-have mods I decided to put a bunch of them on, on there and it act and doing a lot of testing it actually has done a significant improvement to me wanting to do um, some of this again um on the top of my head I don't have I don't know every single uh, like every single mod that I have put on here but I'll definitely put them in the description below some of the most important ones include the the additional HUD that was inspired by the pre-alpha release there's also the projectile speed mod and most importantly which is the one that really uh, made me uh, pissed off the most was the was the uh, one for the AI only I'm by when I say pissed off, I mean when PGI or Piranha Games decided to program this game. Unfortunately, the AI is some of the dumbest I have ever seen, and there has been significant improvements to this based off a lot of these fans, and this is probably the only reason why a lot of the the, the game is still currently going right now. There's a there is also the uh, Betty is still is still the same. That's actually not the problem. And also there is a uh, a scaling mod that is also on here that also ended up define uh, that ended up may shrinking the battle mechs based on their mass. So it actually looks like actual mechs that you can actually hide behind cover uh, a bit better with. One of the complaints that a lot of people had had is saying how huge that uh, that the mechs were when they were inside the game. Well, I put that in, and it definitely does do uh, do that. And the last one that I can think of on the top of my head is also the jump jets, because the jump jets didn't really feel very well. And this is also especially noted in Mech Warrior Online. I have actually uh, stopped playing that because. Uh, because of uh, how poorly it was gone but either way I'm going to re re this is going to be a uh, mech warrior 5 modded revisited and we're going back to one of the very first missions that I have done f when I uh, pre-ordered it this is the assassination one out in the desert so I'm going to actually um, pick my uh, pick the mech that I have done that I am in when it comes to when, yeah, when it comes to the um, Mega Mech, this is the Highlander 732B. I'm going to have a Thunderbolt pilot along with me. I'm going to actually switch. I'm actually going to switch her out because this voice actually has changed since the other one. It's actually now this particular chick, and she's still terrifying. And I'll switch this out to a to a quick draw. 5k and we're also bringing a hunchback with us so let's go ahead and, and actually get into it also I have one of the things I also kind of wanted to do is be able to use my CH fighter stick um, 
a combination with that I used for Falcon BMS and actually Attention. put this into it. So this is what I order. ended up doing. Warning. Some. Hangar door is opening. Stand clear. So as we start up. Reactor online. Sensors online. This is much better. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Now I have a this bounty is only payable here. if we bring the entire perfect, group to justice. Definitely so you will have to search the area and ensure that everyone on our list is found and dealt with before we can pack it in. So now I should be able to do this without actually touching my keyboard. Target acquired. And also the the advanced which is part of a lot of mech Destroyed. I have a visual on the target. Take them out. Destroyed. One more to my kill count. Another thing to note is that, you see, with the limping, there's also another pod there that if a leg gets destroyed off of a mech, then there, there is a permanent limping uh, animation that occurs over there, which, in, a, in theory, it really makes sense, because if your mech is destroyed, how can you be moving on like half the, uh, one half your speed still? Like that, that would make absolutely no sense at all. Target destroyed. Target acquired. So we'll go ahead and proceed this as normal. Only you have to have it out of the elite target warrior power and the pilots that actually become all sufficient in the vanilla. And they would still target take a, a fairly good beating. Lasers, uh, there's a mod there for that. Alright, there goes that to collect on. Now I'm gonna command Target sent to hell. The others too. Long. Jump jet fuel low. The that jump jet um mod it was Target shown there. Acquired. It actually feels like actual jump jet now. That I thank you so much for making making that because it makes things so much better. Target acquired. Target destroyed. There goes the warrior. Slow down. Target destroyed. Target. Yeah. Destroyed. AI actually is shooting at them and actually working as a team to have them much better. The necessary area that I want to. Target to. acquired. Jet 
Fuel low. New target acquired. Incoming. Target destroyed. Target destroyed. This is the next one. Focus on the air. Those are dangerous tags. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Enemy destroyed. Alright, there goes the hell down there. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target. Target destroyed. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Alright. Now, back there, there Target should be destroyed. the awesome and the shadow lock coming up. Target acquired. Many of these guys primary target identified. It doesn't seem like our secondary targets are with them. The Let's make this quick. Jump jet fuel low. Jump jet fuel empty. Possibly cool. I actually had not picked up these uh, cells before. It's actually been not so bad spot to actually start pumping away at something. Component destroyed. Well, that's kind of expected, but at least they're not like, hard like like man with the, the other ones. Target. Enemy mech destroyed! Target acquired. Add one more to my kill count. Alright, go ahead and take down that awesome. Reactor failure. Now let's get you all home. Head to the evac points. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Target acquired. Destroyed. Target. Tango down. All right. Now that those people are soft up. Now that's the focus on the archer. Engaging with lance. I'll, I'll keep the other Copy. One. Moving into formation. Fifty unit closing in on enemy position. And we're gonna get rid of that archer. Now that thing's gonna be shooting two of our bodies at us, so... Where the plants is. You can notice that the 
The amount of damage that they have sustained overall, for the most part, actually has uh, significantly improved. This is to what, what they don't do in the AI mod is they don't be like suicide charge to them like some of the others are. And I understand that the developer did state that they're going to going to be updates as they go along, but I just have to say that the overall AI is much better compared to the actual developers. And let's see here, I have gotten 29 kills, 3 air units, 14 turrets, 11 vehicles, and a map. And it looks like the quick draw is the one who sustained the most damage, well, obviously because it's lightly armored. There might be, there's still, they may have to work on this part a little bit better, but I still think that the overall effect of this is a bit better. Thunderbolt did a really good job o overall. Didn't it? And of course, I didn't sustain uh, a crap ton of da uh, damage in this as I know, as I sometimes would. And the hunchback pilot, very good job not taking up too much uh, too much damage. So this would all this is also one of the reasons why I'm probably when I do start up again I'm going to start up a new career because strictly because of this. So I just wanted to uh, show you all a thing where what basically uh, what's been going on in Mech Warrior Five, uh, and a lot of it had to do with the programming that I needed really needed mods for and the hardware basically makes it be able to go on max graphics now without too much issues so that's what's been happening there so thank you so very much for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you all next time I'm Crimson Thunder see you later everybody